Good morning, students. So today I'm going to teach you lesson number five. Tigers do not prey. Tigers, you know tigers. Tigers is a wild animal. So tigers, they do not prey. Bray means it's a loud or harsh cry of a donkey. So the tigers, they do not make sound like donkey. Let's start with the vowel sound I. M-I-C-E, mice. N-I-C-E, nice. R-I-C-E, rice. P R I C E price T W I C E twice. Let's start our chapter. Adobe had an S. The S helped his master in his work. So this one is the story about Adobe and his S. The Adobe he had an S, and the S he helped his master in his work. The Adobe was so poor that sometimes. He could not buy food for the ass, so he drove him into the rice field nearby. The dobi, dobi, he was so poor that sometimes he could not buy food for the ass. So what he do? He drove uh, the the ass into the rice field nearby. When the farmers saw the ass, they drove him out of the field of their field. The poor animal then had no food to eat. So when the farmer they saw the ass again, they drove him out of the field. In this way, the poor animal, the poor ass, he had no food to eat. One day, someone gave the dobi an old tiger's skin. It was a gift. He did not have to pay any price for it. So one day, what happened? Someone gave the dobi an old tiger's skin as a gift. He did not have to pay any prices, as it was a gift. So. He got a tiger skin as a gift. The dobi thought of a nice little plan to feed the animal. If I put the tiger skin on the as he said to himself, the farmer will think he is a tiger and they will run away in fear. In fear. So when the dobi he got a tiger skin. He thought of a little nice plan to feed the animal. He was saying to himself that if I put the tiger skin on the ass, then the farmer they will think that he is a tiger and they will run away in fear. So he put the tiger's skin on the ass and drove him into the field. So he put the tiger's skin on the ass and drove him into the field. Thinking that the animal was a real tiger, the farmer ran away like mice from a cat. When the farmer they saw the ass, they thought that it was a real tiger, and the farmer they ran away like how the mice they run when they saw a cat. Likewise, the farmer they ran away. You can see in the picture here. The ass fed himself on the grass not once or twice, but three times that day. So that day, the ass he fed himself on the grass not once, not twice, but three times. While coming back from the field, the ass was so happy that he began to bray, he ho, he ho. So while after feeding himself, the ass he was so happy that he began to bray. He ho, he ho. When the farmer heard this, they became very angry. The dobi has played a trick on us. They cried out, "We will teach him a lesson." When the so when the farmer they heard the bray, they became very angry, and they they was they cried out that the dobi he has played a trick on us. Now it's our time to teach him a lesson. So we were going to teach him a lesson. They ran into the field. They caught the ass with the tiger's skin and took the dobi and the ass to the village headman. So they ran into the field and they caught that ass with the tiger's skin and took that ass and the dobi to the village headman. Headman headman means leader of a of a tribe or a village, the head of the village. So they took the dobi and the ass to the village headman. When the headman heard about the dobi's trick, he drove him and his ass out of the village. So, so the 
farmers they narrated all the story and the headman when he heard all the story he drove the dhobi and his ass out of the villages so this is the end of our story so from this story we learn that never try to trick other if you will try to trick other then you have to pay for it now i will give you some homework so student this one is your homework dictation words number 1 is d h o b i dhobi to f a r m e r s farmers 3 a n i m a l animal number 4 g i f t gift number 5 f i e l d field Number six T I G E R tiger. Number seven G R A S S grass. Number eight B R A Y bray. Number nine T R I C K trick. Number ten H E A D M A N headman. So write this in your copy and submit it. Thank you and have a nice day.